What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another light in the face video. I know it's been a very long time since we've done one of these but um, before we get into it real quick I want to do a shameless plug. Wolfgangloopers.blogspot.com is my new blog where I will rant, talk about things that I don't talk about in the video um, or just random shit that's on my mind. It all goes to this blog. Uh, for example, tonight I will be writing about how this video took a complete turn um, from being one thing and now we're talking about something else. So, let's get into it. This video is aimed for my audience, my younger audience, and both, you know, boy and girl, and just and people in general who don't really know what their career path is or don't know how to find their career path or don't know what to do um, right now because they don't know how to, you know, like they're trying to find the career. The first thing I want to say is don't let exterior input be the def definitive factor in what you choose to be a career. If you're a girl and you like math and you like sports, or you like science, whatever it is that you like, you like hunting, you like fishing, you like NASCAR, I don't give a damn what it is, and you genuinely enjoy and love it, not because someone says you do, but because you feel it inside yourself that you genuinely enjoy this and you genuinely love it, go for it. Don't let anything that people say affect that. You should do what you love, no matter your gender, no matter your age, no matter, okay, well, age does play a, gen, you know, a huge factor. I don't think a 10-year-old could be a real estate agent. My hopes and dreams were crushed, okay? If you want to become the best NASCAR driver in the world and you are a six-year-old girl, you know what I suggest doing? Get a go-kart. Go crazy. Keep training and training and training and training, and then eventually when you can get your driver's license and your racing license, go for it. Don't let someone say, oh, it's only for men. Bullshit! <laughs> there are plenty of pro racers that are women and that kick ass. Okay? Danica Patrick. Danica Patrick. All right. Let's be real here. Um, but directors, actors, soldiers, there are so many career paths that people believe only one gender or one type of person can do when it's complete bullshit. Just wanted to get that out there first is please don't let what society thinks, what your parents think, what your friends think, or even what that evil, cynical voice in your head thinks. Don't let that be the definitive factor of what you're going to do for the rest of your life. You choose it from your heart, you go do it. Pixie told me something about how when you're a kid, and this is really true, especially in my case and her case, um, when you're a small kid, you know really what you enjoy because you're gonna find something and you're gonna be like, oh, this is fun, and you're gonna enjoy it. Genuinely, you genuinely will enjoy it. And what I mean by that is, there won't be any exterior factors in it. There won't be someone saying, hey, football is great, you should enjoy it. Hey, this is great, you should enjoy it. And you're thinking, yeah, I should enjoy it because they're saying I should enjoy it. No, no. When you're a small kid, you're like, eh, fuck you, fuck you, I love this. You know, just because I love it. And a lot of people who are become really successful in life do did the same thing since they were little kids so if they're like a computer scientist or a computer scientist um a computer engineer or you know a race car driver or an athlete or anything they had been doing that same sport since they're a little kid or they were you know in that field since they're a little kid for me it was entertainment i loved entertaining people i loved making people smile and i did a lot of things i did youtube i did i was a magician i did theater for a little bit i was in the ballet I just loved being part of something that made someone else's day a good day. And Pixie's kind of the same thing. She loves makeup and she wants to be an esthetician because she wants to be able to show people, hey, you're beautiful. And let me show you what it's like to be beautiful and then enhance it. Let me show you. And then, you know, you get you get that, like, they look like, oh my god, this is amazing. And you're like, you know. So showing... Um, someone what they love through what you love is an amazing feeling and I mean you ask com comedians you ask actors you ask youtubers um, streamers everything and they're like in generally except for the asshole ones they love their audience because they get to make their audience happy which in turn make in turn makes them happy so there's that so if you can think back to what you really loved when you were a little kid um, then you kind of have an idea of what you want, you want, will want to be doing when you're older. Now, I can't give myself an example because when I was a little kid, I wanted to do everything. I mean, I'm talking a real estate agent, 
I'm talking, okay, well, granted, not everything, but these are the main things I wanted to do. I wanted to entertain people. I wanted to be a real estate agent. I also wanted to be a rally car racer, magician, um, air, not an Air Force, Navy pilot, general pilot, and I wanted to sail across the world. That's a lot of things. <laughs> I still, to this day, want to do all of those things. Granted, the, the Navy pilot thing was just more, I just really wanted to be in the military, and if perfect scenario, if I could join the military, this is what I want to do, which would be a Navy pilot. Granted, the thing I enjoyed the most out of all those things was entertainment. I loved entertaining people. I love making, put, I love putting smiles on people's faces. So, here I am. I'm a YouTuber. Woohoo! Maybe an actor one day. That would be awesome. Or a voice actor or something, you know. With entertainment, it's a great industry to get into, especially if you love it, just because... There are so many outlets. There is Vine, there is YouTube, there is blogging, there is writing, there is voice acting, there is streaming, there is just like, oh my god, there's so much you can do. And if you do a lot of them, there's a lot of sources of income. You know, if you're a partner, if you're like featured on Vine or whatever, I don't know what the actual, actual thing, but partnered on YouTube, partnered on Twitch, and you have a successful blog, and all the like Google AdSense coming in, and you're just like, if one thing fails, you have all these other things that you can depend on to keep going. And you still have other outlets to entertain your loyal fans. Because, honestly, God, like Philip DeFranco said, if YouTube just died, we'd all move to Facebook. I would create a Facebook account and start making videos there. But I prefer YouTube because, you know, community. Ooh. When you, if you just think, pause the video, think about it for a little bit. Think about what you liked as a little kid. And then, now, come on, pause the video, obviously. You want to think about that, that field and think about all the different things that you could do in that field. See if you can do multiple things. Now, granted, not every career path will allow you to do multiple things within the same field, but maybe there's multiple things that you can do. Like there's people who are um, insurance, who have a, you know, a day job that's like at an insurance company, and then they flip cars on the side, and then they do YouTube on the side, so that's a bunch of combined income you think about that but the main thing you want to be concentrating on is your career so the thing that you enjoy the most and then you can have side jobs to create more income and then of course like i said with entertainment there's just a million and one things that you can do that all do the same thing for you and at the same time create um, multiple sources of income that i mean that's pretty much all i have to say about it just enjoy what you do um and work towards it every day I mean if you're young start now there's no reason not to you if you want to become a youtuber that's truly what you want to do start now and don't get despaired you may only get a few views out first and your people might make fun of you because you're young because you're you know a little kid or whatever but don't let that stop you fuck those people fuck those people who say oh you're too young to do YouTube you don't know anything you don't know what you're doing just keep making content keep putting it out there because there are people who just genuinely enjoy your content and we're like, yes, I love what you're doing. You know, keep it up. So don't let that affect you. Don't let what people say affect you. Just keep doing what you're doing. And if you start at a young age, when you turn 21, 22, 30, you know, hopefully not that late, <laughs> um, you will become very successful at what you're doing and you'll be living your dream. You'll be doing what you love. So I honestly God wish I started YouTube a lot earlier I wish I didn't waste time on my gaming channel I also wish I had better internet for streaming but I digress I wish I started a lot younger I always it, it's like one of my biggest regrets that I started so late because I was still dill daddling trying to figure out what I wanted to do however the, reaching out to my younger audience start it now I know there are some of you that have already started their own YouTube channels one of them that always pops up is pro noob studios I know you hit 500 subscribers recently congratulations dude I know there's a lot of people who started their own um, streams uh, I know Evan uh, has been looking into streaming he got his own computer set up and all that so great job to him yeah, I noticed these things so I like seeing people doing what they love and especially at a young age and just being able to think that dude's gonna go places, and then you know, be you know, have that little selfish feeling like, yeah, because you know, partly because of me. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry it was a bit long, but uh, until next time, make sure to love yourselves and love life. Go out there, do you, 
believe in yourself. Don't let other people affect you. You know, get get on your career. And until next time, I just said that. Jesus. I need coffee or something. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.